Hi everyone, it's Cherry Enchantress. I'm here with another pick a card reading and um, I'm going to continue on with the Twin Flame theme and I thought of another, I've, I've thought actually of a series of questions and so the next question I have is what is the future of your relationship? So yeah, what as you as you grow and develop, what is the future? I mean, it, not everyone will lead to union. We hope so. Maybe we'll find out if you will, or when, um, if you will have what type of union, you know, maybe you'll have more than just a spiritual union. You'll have, go all the way to integrating all the dimensions and having a, a life partnership together. So we have three piles here, pile one, pile two, pile three. Pile one is with the crystal, the leopard jasper. Take a look at that. Cool. <laughs> pile two is with the fluorite. And pile three is with the unilite that came out in my goddess provisions box. And there are your three choices. You can choose by number, timestamp, which one is the hottest. Whoa, speaking of hot, I just did a boo-boo. I lit this candle because I wanted some light in the corner over here. And I thought of a better way of getting light, which I'm like, why didn't I think of that first? Well, I lit this candle under my phone and I burnt my phone so there you go warning to you guys <laughs> be careful where you light your candles all right so let's take a deep breath close your eyes release your breath <sighs> open your eyes and let them drift to the pile that's meant for you let's begin okay here is pile one with the leopard jasper I like those little benign flat stones. So let's see what your card has to say. And you've got renewal. So oh, we, what will your future be like? Review the past and the present so you can plan, plan a bright new future. Understanding your life purpose. Releasing judgments of yourself and others. So that's really good. I mean, what better way to... <laughs> Plan the future to look at the future of your relationship then to sort of assess your past and present just a little bit like don't you know get lost in it but kind of take an assessment all right I think I need to pull this up just a bit okay and let's go ahead and pull another one of those Fairy Tarot by the Doreen Virtue. So let's do a live shuffle here and get us another card here. So what do we need to look forward to for your future? Okay, you've got Queen of Spring. Well, we have until June 21st to experience this spring. And she, this Queen of Spring is brilliant, loyal, talented, and friendly. Believe in yourself. Wonderful people want to help you. Maintain a balance between work and home life. Okay, that's a good way to begin. Uh, let's see. I feel sometimes the best way to figure out the future or to know the future is like this card said let's let's review the past so let's take a look at the um, the lover's path Oracle this this represents a lot of twin twin excuse me twin flames of past lives gods and goddesses and famous couples This is one I should, I really should trim this one. <laughs> okay. 
I'm finding like it was very like trimming cards is a very soothing methodical kind of job but it's something that I don't always want to I, I can't I don't always feel the need to do when I have other projects so right now I'm in real serious project mode and I don't have time for this kind of soothing so we've got the Queen of Arrows lots of Queens coming out I, um, I think the Queen of Spring might be air signs and we have the three of coins Wow let's take a look at what these signify Obviously, somebody here is very brilliant because here again, we have with the Queen of Arrows, Arrows, we have brilliance, honesty, wisdom. And wisdom in matters of the heart, also, you know, this is self knowledge, brilliance in writing and speaking. So I feel like you're going to have a little bit of alone time contemplating, writing, healing. Um, journaling, all of these things, even working on a book, it may be some of you, before you uh, you actually come into union, but you're in a very healthy place, and I feel because you are, there's um, a, a strong promise for the future. The Three of Coins is really nice. It's building, manifestation, construction. So this is the building of a career, a relationship, or home, and the ability to manifest material goods or business success and cooperating with others to construct a venture. So definitely you have all the skills that it, you need, like practical tools, 3D tools at hand, but you also have the spiritual ability to manifest. So you're, you're doing your work basically is what, what's coming out so far. Um, so, uh, <laughs> Let's, I mean, we got to keep asking, what is the future of your relationship? Right now, we're getting the, your personal futures looking really good. Like, it's, it's basically spirit saying, keep on the right path. You know, you're on the right path to building the future that you desire with your person. Just keep focusing on yourself and you'll get there. Let's see about, uh, let's ask the spirit some messages here. This is the heart and soul oracle let's see what spirit has to say there's a lot right there let's just take this one let's just take this one Well, that's pretty with the sun. This one is saying, an angel surrounds you with rainbow wings, here to reconnect you with your true nature, the balanced, healthy, sensitive, and loving you. Remember that there is more to life than your achievements. Consciously connecting your spiritual and physical realities will help you reconnect to the sacred, infinite, and creative part of yourself. That is yearning to play a greater role in your life. There you go. So you're you're that's just all the same thing. It's all about growing and you're learning and doing more than you've ever done before. You know, it's this is a very beautiful experience that you're going through here and just keep doing it. Like this is a kind of a solo feeling in this in this reading. But you're not alone. You're with your twin flame and spirit, and everything you do for yourself, you do for your twin flame. So let's keep looking. Let's see what the fairy forecast has to say. Okay, this is coming out a lot, but this nesting card is really good and meaningful. Um, so what you need to do, you know, what, it, what you're called to do is, is to clear the clutter, basically. It's like 
that feeling if you've ever been a mom or you know what I'm talking about when I talk about the third trimester is the nesting phase of your pregnancy where you feel like you have to clean everything to prepare for the baby well so it's, it's a similar thing like it's this pre preparation for union or preparation for bringing in your your twin flame into your life is what you're doing so you're preparing yourself and you're doing a wonderful job <laughs> excellent like everything that you're doing is on the right track um, you you're also can think about preparing through mundane tasks you know through chores through moving through decluttering through any kind of energy work at all that that can get things moving um, I was listening a little bit to to Brandon Tobias today and it, it was talking a lot about chords and it's funny too because I stumbled today on another I was I'm actually about to draw a picture and um, manifest yourself was saying that twin flames hearts are connected by a silver cord which I don't know if that's the first time I've heard that but I started to visualize that in my mind, what that would look like. And then I researched cords and babies and twins and, and, um, and what, what I, and in my research, this is funny how re, what research does it. One thing leads to another and then you're suddenly sitting there with a head full of knowledge. But I, I discovered, um, some people were talking about cord cutting and this one lady was talking about how she was having a lot of trouble with her twin flame and she was so frustrated she just wanted to cut that cord but it's not a cord that you're you're meant to cut it's because it's part of you she was saying i've heard that if you try to cut this cord then you'll die and well i don't know if it, it goes to that extreme but uh, anyway the end the the message that she discovered in the end after dealing with shamans and a lot of wise people was that she had um dark cords she had black cords whatever color you want to resonate with this that's not it wasn't shiny and silver it wasn't durable it, they were shadowy cords you know they weren't supposed to be there or they needed to be cleared out so she finally had these shadow cords these dark cords cleared out and then afterward emerged this beautiful bright silver cord that's like made of that kind of steel that you can't cut you know it's kind of like the cord that I use to charge this phone you know and so um, so yeah um, that could that is is something that you can focus on too is clearing you know like maybe find the professional I don't know how like research it really good maybe you can do it on your own but um, you know, and Brandon's the the chat people were saying, "Oh, be careful about cutting cords. If you can if you do it wrong, it'll grow back." Blah 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 stuff like that. Anyway, research. Do your own research. Come up with your own conclusions. Um, I feel like above all, your intention is stronger than any other person's opinion or way of doing things, because your perspective and your beliefs um, is what carries the weight. To the situation right so if you truly believe in your idea of how to clear cord away then focus on that all right and maybe you'll find something that feels really good to you so interesting i just realized i'm using the threads of fate um the threads of fate yeah it the cord is like a thread of fate so let's get one final message so I, I know I didn't see so much um, the future of your relationship except that you're doing everything right for it to progress in the right direction and just um, I'm just hearing a, a lot of clearing and cleansing and that kind of thing for you and continue on the path that you're on and uh, things will get better and better Wow get curious you also got this paradox card interesting well I'm gonna take a little peek at both okay the paradox card is about that holding two extremes at the same time and that's interesting because that's kind of how 
how these these feelings with your twin flame can be like they're like your total opposites sometimes they're your they're mirror you and then they're your opposites as well you know these um these extremes or these things whether they're internal external you can sometimes you see them as one-sided but to hold the paradox within us requires strength to see our most brilliant qualities and our most ugly to acknowledge that they both live within us is the gateway to growth. And so there you go. There's another way, another step in your evolution for healing and, and preparing yourself, preparing yourself for this union. I feel it's coming very strong because of all of this preparation advice. And it's almost like you've done a lot already. And it's in like universe is just saying here, just you could do this, tweak this a little, just tweak that a little, you know, you're almost there, almost there. Um, Carl Jung said, the paradox is one of the mo our most valuable spiritual possessions. And for anyone who does shadow work, ah, I see, I said shadow, clear the shadows. They know this to be true, but this can also be difficult for many people. If we've been raised in a rigid environment where things are viewed as black and white, it may be hard for us to accept our flaws, let alone love them. Mm -hmm. And um, because our twins are mirrors, sometimes it's hard to see the ugly in us. Um, be, you know, maybe they represent the parts of us that we don't like. They represent parts of us that we do like also. <laughs> and they also represent the parts of us we don't like. And I feel like a lot of times that's why we, w one or the other, turn into a runner because they don't want to face um, their complete self, their true selves. And so that's another thing. And also, um, one of the things that that lady said in the article is this, this amazing kind of unconditional love, no matter what, no matter who you are, good, bad, and ugly, I love you with all of my heart to the bottom and the top of my being. And you're thinking, are you serious? Are you sure? You know, do, do I really deserve this kind of amazing love? Like you both might be feeling that. So that, that might be like, you know, right now, you're at the pinnacle of getting together because you're at this point where you're like, whoa, you know, this is an amazing kind of love. And the more I feel it, the more I realize I deserve it. And the more it it is me loving myself, you know. It's the light I see in you, it's the light you see in me feeling. <laughs> that sounds just so lighthearted and sweet, but when you like really look at it deeply it's it speaks right it speaks volumes so let's now look at get curious what are we getting curious about i'm curious <laughs> so a lot is said about how to how important it is to have a positive mindset but not as much about a curious mindset curiosity can be the bridge of shit to shifting our thoughts our thought patterns it's neutral but inviting and when we feel stuck I definitely have a strong curiosity about everything when we feel stuck cynical and bored with life tapping into our curiosity can spark a rapid domino effect within our thoughts there's so much in this world we never know, but to simply begin wondering about what is around you can snowball into passions and excitement you never knew you had. If you're unsure about where to begin, simply look around. How do flowers get their color? How did snakes evolve? Do dogs taste the same things as human? Nothing's too silly. I mean, that's exactly what was happening with this whole cord cutting thing, or what does the silver cord look like between twin flames? <laughs> And, and then I got in the whole silver cord tangent. So you might try like that, you know, like a, a, a thread of thought and see where it leads you. Like a thread of feet. All right, let's see what your um, charms have to say. I'm sorry I couldn't get more specific with this pile on what's going on. Like where what is the future of your relationship but i definitely sense you you might be having union 
soon, which is such a crazy word. Who knows what soon means? Basically, it's just saying, Spirit is saying you're on the right path to whatever you desire. All right, let's see what the charm is saying. So we have <laughs> Codsworth, the clock, and this. The web with the clock to me means divine timing. Maybe it means divine timing is here at last, you know? We have the ruler, somebody. There's somebody who's ruling the situation, taking charge. There's Sing. The rainbow. The rainbow gives me two feet vibes. One is of is kind of a, the LGBTQ um, community hello like love is love your love is just as important as everybody else's and and that could be you know like we every twin flame relationship has their challenges and maybe this was one of yours you know finding somebody and having to deal with these societal norms and restrictions and now or you know or not but whatever it's it's still um, still something that you have to you know, like wounds and things that you have to overcome, you know, things that you have to grow past and get over the, you know, people's opinions of like that don't even matter anymore because you know who you are, you know, this is all just saying you know who you are, whether you are in this community or not. I feel like the, um, the, I got dust in my finger. <laughs> The uh, rainbow means that your chakras are aligned too and everything's coming into balance, into a beautiful, perfect balance. It can also represent air and um, water energies mixing together, making a rainbow. You have a lot of faith here and maybe some of you actually have religion too. Oh, we got name. Gonna do some scrabble for you. We've got hope. We've got Let's see, 23, we've got, oh, we got Ariel who lost her tail, maybe a little too much exploring, too much giving, and I feel like you've already learned your lesson in that, but this is something that you can reflect on in the past. What did you used to do that you didn't like that you did? This could be part of the ugly, you know, good, bad, and ugly. Well, you've learned from that, and, and now you realize you know, that's not something that you want to do anymore. <laughs> then you've got the moon, moon energies, psychic connections here. You, you really are strongly connected in the ethereal world. You've got Virgo, which is practical. <laughs> you got a uh, kitty cat. This little kitty hat had a halo once, like an angel kitty, but the halo fell off so I think it's back to back on earth now look at this you got a lot of money lots of abundance that's a good thing you know it's always good like I feel like oh you got two crosses I feel like maybe um, you and your person marry each other in your faith very much and you have the 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 um, manifestation hands the prayer hands so you know prayer is just another word for manifestation and manifestation is another word for prayer it's like having faith giving it up to god letting god bring bring make your prayers you know your dreams come true your wishes come true answer your prayers so they all relate you know everybody's religions and faiths and points of view spirituality they're all very similarly tied and if you need to look at it from that point of view then do you know there's no reason why you have to forget your faith and um, get all, you know, airy-fairy and esoteric and whatever. <laughs> you can apply the same principles under the context of your religion, too, if you have one, if that means something to you. Look, we have the um, CEO. This I call this the CEO, <laughs> Divine Feminine. She is the dragon. This is the female dragon because she's all coppery and sparkly. I also have the um, the masculine dragon that comes out that's silvery. But this one is, you know, it could be for anybody, male or female, but it definitely has more of the feminine essence and yet the strength 
and power that a masculine has. So this this definitely represents maybe the physical appearance or feminine physical appearance, but a very masculine um, internal power and energy, a very yan energy, able to to manifest, able to not just manifest spiritually, but she is one that makes money in real life and has a wonderful 3D world. So that's wonderful. And then you've got, I think that's Olaf, the snowman. Maybe something happened. Frozen. Hmm. Maybe it's, um, so anything related to Frozen, Snowman, and that fairy tale could be related somehow to you. Or think of how Olaf, his character was, and see if that has anything to do with, you know, you and, and your situation here. And here's some, you know, the Girl Scouts. My sister gave me this, and she and her daughter are Girl Scouts, and I was a Girl Scout too. And the Girl Scout motto was, on my honor, I will try to serve God and my country to help people at all times and to live by the Girl Scout laws. And that was something that was ingrained in me. And I feel like it's still a beautiful message, powerful, you know, it's under God, but it can be under any higher being, you know. All right, let's see what you guys have to say. I mean, your scrabble. <laughs> Okay, getting a little long here. So we have air. You are air. Okay. There you go. <laughs> all right. Well, I hope you like that. I'm going to move on to the next. Check out my description box for all these links where you can buy things and reach me. And please, if you're not a subscriber, please become a subscriber and be part of the Sparkles of Light. I'm happy to have you. Um, also, you know, do all the fun stuff like hitting the like buttons and making comments and all of those really help the algorithm of this channel you know, to help me grow and, and not stay st stuck in one place. You know, let's all grow together. I would really appreciate your help. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the next. Okay, and here's pile two with the fluorites. Push that over there. Let's see what you got. So you got two of summer. Look at that, that's like the two of cups. So falling in love or making a serious commitment to someone, forgiveness, and the resolution of a problem. Don't give up. Your relationship can be healed. So that's wonderful. What is the future of your relationship? It looks like you're going to fall in love. If you, haven't, if you have already fallen in love, this is going to be kind of like falling again, like a, a new phase, a new cycle. Um, this is a serious commitment coming up. Um, a forgiveness of everything that all the wrongdoings all the past and a focus on a solution and resolving things so definitely good news right there for you guys all right let's see about let's get another one of the fairy forecast I mean fairy forecast the fairy tarot fairy tarot Justice, perfect. Take the time to review the details carefully. You will win in the end. Fair and objective decisions. So, you know, the solution could come with some justice, something that's either universal justice, something that, you know, the, the, your guides and angels and universe just bestows on you through some change of events, or it could be something also physical, in the 3D world, like um, some kind of uh, legal paperwork somehow that will help bring you guys closer together could also represent marriage as well. So that's another possible future for you, marriage. Now this 
deck, this pile is definitely giving me answers that I'm asking for. Pile one was a little, what? <laughs> so now the best, to me, sometimes the best way to, to see what's going on in the future is, is to reflect on the past. So let's see about the lover's path tarot talks about twin flames of the past and famous couples from the past. Let's see what comes up. All right. Ooh, we have three of staves. That's very promising. So three of staves is looks like a preparation, a plan. There is an actual couple here, which is good. Like in pile one, I, the, no couples cards came out. And so it's a lot of um, almost there, a lot of self-healing, but almost there. So the keywords here are for are, um, waiting and successful enterprises and planning. And um, so you're about to have success very shortly, you know, ability to transform goals into realistic action. So this is definitely manifesting your truth. And um, the suit of staves is ruled by the lovers Siegfried and Brunhilde. And they are very action-packed, you know, because they, and that's why they belong to the suit of staves or arrows. And, um, or not arrows, um, staves, um, which would resonate with, um, okay, and they're, so, um, it's, it goes, it's, a, it's, it's associated with wands, for one, but it's also, this particular card is also related with the strength card of the Major Arcana as well. And so, that's the, the story of Brunhild and Sigrid, show how the force of love can spur us to great deeds, making us strong where we were once weak. Beautiful. All right, so let's see what your message from Spirit is. We've got love message, heart and soul. I don't even know. I'm not even going to shuffle these. <laughs> I'm just going to see what flies up. I don't want to just pick. I want it to come up. I'm starting to remember a dream I had. What was my dream? I must have been shuffling cards in my dream. There we go. So your message is... Oh, wow. You have the same one as pile one. That's fine. We'll use this too. An angel surrounds you with rainbow wings. Here to reconnect you with your true nature, the balanced, healthy, sensitive, and loving you. Remember, there is more to life than your achievements. Consciously connecting your spiritual and physical realities will help you reconnect to the sacred, infinite, and creative part of yourself that is yearning to play a greater role in your life. Very sweet. Okay. Let's see now what the fairy forecast oracle has to say. I always pick this like late afternoon time of day and it's raining so it's getting it's kind of dark but I like it. I'm hoping it's enough light for you guys. Okay, I love, all right, you got, you've got, um, Fairy King came out too, so I'll let, I'll let him come out. You've got waves, I love waves. What, this, so it definitely has like, I went to the beach yesterday, and well, it's, it's a beach that's kind of close to my house, that's very small, and it had a lot of people, but it's just so nice to be by water, no matter how, 
you know, <laughs> little of a beach it is. It was just really nice. So the waves, these waves are so pretty. Someday I'm going to go to the, to Destin and see the Emerald Sea. I think I might try that this summer. I'm just going to pick one place to drive to. I'm not going to be about money. I'm going to do it like in a spiritual way like I did last time. <laughs> All right. So, um, waves can be overwhelming and knock you off your feet, but these sunlit well swells are full of joy. I don't know if you can see the fairies dancing in the waves. But these, um, this is like a surge of happiness that fills you up. Ride the wave. Waves crest and swell like the waters of love and emotion. It may be only temporary, so enjoy the sudden burst of a happy change. So, it, in this case, I feel like the, the, the happiness is going to be long-term happiness, but you will have something that's sort of instantaneous, this a burst feeling like a joyful news, a joyful outcome, like a joyful, you know, uh, um, litigation, win in your favor, whatever it is, you know, somebody saying something, hey, we won the case, or this is going to be this, and you're like, yay, or we could get married, I got our license, yay, or something like that, you know, and then, of course, that moment of pure bliss and excitement is only momentary, but the feeling that you have with your person does last forever, it is going to be a beautiful feeling, so your fairy king here is is a magician, a sorcerer, a wizard, the divine masculine. This can be you or someone in your life or somebody soon to enter. It could be a friend or a teacher, a guru or a guide. It definitely is, could be your love interest. And it is also saying that fairies are your guides as well. And it was fun in the chat today. Um, somebody said that they, they had done some kind of meditation and, and they saw the fairies. And I was very excited <laughs> for them. But then somebody else said, oh, be careful or something like that. I'm like, okay. <laughs> anyway, but also it's also representing because it's the it symbolizes masculinity. It's representing the yan energy action, also an action. So be sure to take that action. All right. So now, or let your masculine in your life take the action. So let's check, check on the threads of fate. So the threads, the first um, pile was a lot, had a lot to do about cords and threads and, <laughs> and um, it was interesting. Let's see. And it all tied in with these threads. What's this one? Reflect. I like this one a lot. I also like that this one has a, is one of the most prettiest holographic ones too. So reflect and waves and just all very peaceful, right? The reflect also is nice because it has two swans here. So it looks very much like a twin flame card. Reflecting is about, you know, remembering the past but not staying in the past, right? You know, look at the things that you've done and remember how, you know, think about how things, the good things that came out of things that you did and work to um, only incorporate those things that work, you know? Don't hold on to anything that doesn't. Some, and, <laughs> And it like, you know, if you don't do this reflection every once in a while, sometimes you repeat your same mistakes, right? Or re you repeat patterns. So reflection can be a really great way to break patterns. And if you find yourself in some kind of pattern that you're trying to get free from, know that that will be happening soon because you and your divine are on the same wavelength, on the same wavelength <laughs> uh, of breaking patterns because you're going to be two together, you know, and your your justice is coming. I feel like whatever needs needed to be done will be done in order to to bring forth this this union, this this next phase, this 
coming out of a, a pattern and moving on in a more linear way maybe or maybe still more circles you know there's i feel like life is more like in a in a spiral but the spiral gets bigger and bigger it's not as tight and going around and around and around like this feeling like i'm just going around in circles no it turns into a beautiful spiral where yeah you might revisit and reflect on things that you once had in your world but you, they're not part of your life anymore and you're you're expanding and you're growing and ascending so i think that's a really beautiful thing when when we reflect the intention is not to fix but to simply view ourselves and our lives with less bias and more openness. All right, so let's check out your charms. See what your charms have to say. This one went a lot faster, I don't know why. <laughs> I, a little less cards came out, I guess. It was just more to the point. I, I feel like in pile one, I was kept trying to answer the question of what is the future of our relationship? And Spirit kept giving me other answers. Oh. Okay, let's see what we have here. We've got the key to everything. Unlocking doors and hearts and secrets. We have happiness, you have the engagement ring. So I guess I'll just wear this. Are you asking me? Are you proposing to me? Well, thank you. <laughs> All right, so there's happiness here. You're feeling inspired. Tinker, Tinkerbell is saying that she's giving you this magic at last. You had the faith and the trust. Now she's giving you the pixie dust to make the dreams come true. Oh, I was just saying I want to go to Florida, to Dustin. <laughs> That's my destiny. I'm going to go to Florida and visit the, the Emerald Seas. Then we've got um, Libra, which is my rising sign, charming. And we have San Juan, Puerto Rico. My, I have family in Puerto Rico. That would be another place to go. It looks like... You might be dolling up, dressing up, stepping out, getting your fancy shoes on to go out. You have the kundalini snake, shedding skin and feeling a ripple up your spine, releasing that kundalini and getting a, a nice, um, getting in touch with yourself and getting a nice alignment of your chakras. And you maybe you're working out. Like I see somebody like really getting fit and getting their stuff together also that elephant is memories and nostalgia and reconnecting with somebody from the past or a past life person coming back into your world and we have the wheel the wheel um i think it, i see it as the wheel of fortune and it can be like the captain's wheel like you know you're in charge of how to steer this boat but at the same time, universe is also spinning the wheel of fortune. And where it lands, you don't know. But really, it's, it's always going to be a fortunate thing for you. Because you putting out these beautiful energies and they will come back to you tenfold. Alright, well I hope you like that you guys. <laughs> Big hugs to my subscribers and if you're a visitor, please, please subscribe. I would love to have you part of the Sparkles of Light family it would mean so much to me um and, and you guys do all the other things you know like subscribe share comment it all helps the algorithms of this channel like and i think my channel needs a little boost you know it needs a little loving so i would appreciate any love that you can give me and my channel <laughs> through whatever methods you want you know even if it's just purely energetic i appreciate it so so much thank you and um feel free to check out also my um all the links where you can find me and buy things to help you know put everything that that i make you know for sale all that money goes back into the channel and into you know giving you the best possible outcome yeah so i mean all those cards and everything i made is because i wanted to have 
the best pick a card reading that like pinpointed all the subject matters and thoughts that I had that I couldn't find in other people's oracles or tarots and it's like I'm gonna make my own and so I can use that for my channel and it's just you know so I could connect with you in the best possible way and I, I just really want to reach out to so many of you because I feel like I have information for a lot of people out there that need to hear it and yeah it's it would be sad if if the information got blocked somehow so help me unblock this this path to 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 sending out this information to to more needy people out there that need this information that need to be touched by by the spirit through via this channel and other channels too like me but we need to open up this flow of communication again so thank you for your help and I'm gonna move on to the next and here's pile number three with my uh, unilite <laughs> unilite stone this is a cool stone huh so that was in the goddess provisions box okay so let's let's see what your card has to say queen of autumn generous stylish gracious and practical be practical with respect to how you proceed the ability to make anything more beautiful meeting someone who can help your dreams come true hmm. so what is the future of your relationship well for right now you might still be meeting someone maybe you still haven't found the one yet or maybe they're still coming in maybe you're going to meet like a fairy godmother that will make your dreams come true but I feel like definitely beauty beauty abounds in your life and a sense of style <laughs> I was like what is that noise let's get a little more information Pile two was the most to the point. Pile one, I was like, eh, let me keep asking this question until I get an answer. So let's hope we get a little bit more information here. Okay, let's see what we got. We got good, we got renewal. Review the past and the present so you can plan a bright new future. <laughs> Understanding your life purpose. Releasing judgments of yourself and others. Good. So I feel your future is bright. There, you're going, it's similar to pile one. You're, you're going to go through a bit of a review. But also, you know, we had the review reflect card in pile two as well. So I feel before anybody gets to move on in their relationships it's going to take a, um, a bit of reflecting and reviewing it's almost like your life is flashing before your eyes you know like that moment before you die or whatever like this is going to be the death of the old and the birth of the new like this new life that you're going to have with this person so a lot of reflecting is going to be happening a lot of reviewing a lot of getting prepared <laughs> All right, so let's see. Well, the best, one of the best ways for me to see what the future is about is to reflect in the past. And I think the uh, lover's path is good for that because the lover's path talks about lovers, twin flames and couples, um, you know, famous couples from all time. Let's see what we get. So what is the future of your relationship? All right, we have the Nine of Coins and the Prince of Arrows. This could be a couple here. I didn't see any two together in pile one. Pile two had a bunch of couples cards, but Nine of Coins and Prince of Arrows. Okay, the Nine of Coins is is all about luxury it's like this woman right here luxury and prosperity and fertility and pleasure she's you know feeling or he feeling blessed by life enjoying the fruits of one's labors this is 
material prosperity. I feel like the future of you is material prosperity, which could be the future of the both of you. Now that this has been accomplished, perhaps it's time to create family. So that could be your future is making babies together. Mm -hmm. And then you have the Prince of Arrows. So with this handsome prince, you might be creating things. He is decisive and clear and determined. This is the ability to move in an incisive way of creating clarity from confusion, being able to defend oneself brilliantly and helping others with words. So the arrows represent the suit of swords, so air signs in this case here, young air signs. And I feel like, yes, could be a, actually um, a person who's slightly younger than you, if you're the feminine, if you, if you identify as the feminine, and I feel like that's what this represents here. Feminine with a slightly younger masculine who has an interesting style about them. And you're going to, you know, you are so abundant and prosperous. You you don't need to control anything. You have everything that you need. You feel you feel good within yourself. So it's, it's okay if to follow his lead a little bit. Yes. I think that's a good message there. <laughs> so let's see what uh, what the universe wants to tell you. What's your guides? This is the heart and soul oracle. And this um, Tony Salerno artwork. You, you can find a lot of beautiful decks that he makes. That he makes the artwork for. I don't, there's some more that I want to get. <laughs> oh, there we go. What's that? Okay. It's like your higher self. The heart is the true seat of power. So just love everyone involved and all will unfold gracefully in its own time. The angel watches over you with patience, love, and perseverance. All will work out fine. Be guided by the wisdom of your heart. This is really cool because we had angel guidance in all three piles. So, you know, it's like, I feel like it's like this, you know, the angels looking over this loving couple. All right, let's see what the fairy forecast has to say. Um, the word air came out in pile one in Scrabble and then you have air signs with your arrows here you, It looks like you have an autumn. I think is pentacles. So kind of like a kind of a pentacle air combination here and interestingly, you know, like You could share a lot of the similar I mean you could share I feel like practical, I feel like practical earth people often enjoy similar style as, as intellectual air people, you know, sometimes they, they kind of like see eye to eye. I feel like Virgos and, and Gemini sometimes get like that too, especially because they're ruled by the same planet. So air here um, is talking about that the timing for all of this to come about is something to come about it has to do with this feeling in the air it could be f flying to somebody to you know see somebody by plane trip it could also imply that you are dealing with an air sign person possibly or you have a strong air element in your chart as well okay so let's see what this with the threads of fates what can we what can be the final message of what is the future of your relationships? And still, with this one, still didn't quite get. Um, the relationship is still developing. There's a lot of reflecting going on, renewing, a renewal. 
you know it's yeah it's just a lot of reflecting right now it's kind of like an in-between phase not quite yet come into the you know about it's like just like pile one where you're getting really close to get in, getting to um union you know it's funny i feel like one and two might one and three might be union and two is reunion like uh, you know like that final phase to to integrate the 3D marriage and everything. But I think one and two might be like the first phase coming through very soon for some of you guys, okay? So let's see what the third phase has to say. And you know, you can always listen to all three piles because sometimes there's a little message in each one for you. We got ooh compassion. Oh, and the train whistle blew. So compassion is in store for you. So now more than ever, we need to expand our ability to be compassionate towards self and others. Now we got the thunder. There has been a trend in shaming and rejecting people who disagree with us and justifying doing so by, be, by using sweeping generalizations. Compassion calls us to remember that every human is a product of their environment and is incredibly nuanced. If we want to be truly compassionate, we drive or we dive deeper. We do not build a wall. No matter how correct we believe we are, we must do our best to understand others and their experiences. Their lived experiences have created their truth. And if we want to create a world of connection, we cannot afford to outcast those who do not agree. We have to work hard within ourselves to bridge the gaps. Keep in mind, in some situations, compassion can take form of a wall or a fist. But most of us humans are not perfect and we live in the gray area. Good but wounded. And in that, we are more intentionally compassionate and, and have this connection rather than using a punishment. Can, how can you be more compassionate in your current life? And where have you built walls that do not serve you? So this is really good. Like, I think you're... The final phase before you move into some kind of union or you know the next phase of your relationship will have to do with this kind of um, compassionate understanding um, of your each other's wounds like you you know you've grown up a certain way and you are the way you are because of so many things that have happened in your life you know and so same with your person you know we can't expect our person to um change overnight or automatically just because they love us you know they have to learn how to love themselves which is how they love us also completely so if they haven't yet integrated everything and haven't fallen in love completely with themselves yet you have to give them some time and some compassion and understanding and know too that you haven't fallen in love with yourself either if they're still struggling then you probably are too you know like you may see yourself as doing okay but maybe you're not doing the shadow work to really know if you're if you've healed or not maybe you've glossed over certain things maybe you've been in denial so it's important you know you guys are so close you're so connected you're so there so but i feel with the queen of autumn energy here she is affluent and well off and full of riches and full of the trappings and er and worldly goods and so maybe she might have and it could be he or she she might have this sense that she's okay that there's nothing she needs to work on because look at me i'm visibly i'm fine i'm great i'm wonderful but being fine and great and wonderful has nothing to do with your riches you know, it's it's a spiritual thing that you still have to work on. There's a mosquito in here. <laughs> anyway, so so yeah, that's I think you're super close. There's just a little bit more of of this ability to reflect and this compassion for for yourself and for your person and 
and then you're, you know, you're getting really close to being with them, you know, in, in, in a more physical sense, in a more meaningful sense, a more one-on-one, -on -one, a more direct, a more honest way, you know, a more practical way, ways that feel good for you, because I sense that, uh, the, the, the main person here, the Divine Feminine, which is the majority of my audience, um, desire, like, they want to see action, you know, they want to see results, they want to see somebody showing them things instead of just saying things or running away, you know, and you want the tangible maybe, and you may be one that deals with the tangible a lot, so maybe it's important for you to re to, to focus more on the the spiritual you know it's it's a two-way street I feel like yeah I I, I feel breeze here <laughs> hey Bree. and there you know there's some and I felt this uh, Virgo Gemini combination or air sign combination and er, earth and air though and earth and air can be really interesting because earth so grounded sometimes they don't they don't really they they're so comfortable in the 3d that they don't think about what how they need to in, integrate the 5D with the 3D, you know, the more spiritual dimensions and and make them connect. But even air signs may not be so easy um, connecting. They're they're mentally connected, and that's great. But sometimes they're just way too logical and not intuitive enough. So those are the lessons I think that both sides need to work on here in this pile. And whether you're air or the earth or whatever, but you're getting really close, very close. Things are starting to develop in a positive way for you. There's similar to pile one, there's just still more reflecting and, and integrating lessons and and a little bit of more growing. And I, I sense that there's just somebody here that just, I, I know there's compassion on both sides, but I know and I feel like somebody might have been so wrong that they're like maybe a little bit annoyed with their person and they don't feel like there's anything they have to do that it's all their person but that's not how it works when it comes to twin flames and the best way to help your person is to help yourself you know so go back inside yourself and do some shadow work or do something that's just different okay and see what you might discover all right let's see what the time chart to say We see we got Belle. She this is unconditional love and definitely compassion. You see how she treated the beast. She didn't judge a book by its cover. Well, maybe at first a little bit, <laughs> but uh, Leo, see, it's kind of like beast, beastly and generous. It's funny because um, the Leo card a lot of time, the strength card makes me think of the Beauty and Beast relationship. And with Mickey Mouse and Disney coming out, I feel like your story is very fairy tale like So I think you might have um, maybe a Beauty and the Beast story that's developing here. And it's about unconditional love. Obviously, the Beast is like, yeah. Like, <laughs> if you, you look at the two of them, you're like, Belle doesn't need to learn anything. She's sweet, you know. She's she's got a uh, you know unconditional love. It's all the beast's fault. Like he's just a total nutcase or whatever. But um, what I love about the live action movie is that they're both wounded people. She um, you know has this mother wound where she didn't have a mom, and he has a father wound, and. And in order to, to really heal themselves, they have to heal those wounds. As sweet as Belle is, she's not, she has, she had work to do too, you know, she had her own work to do. And of course, well, obviously the Beast had a lot of work to do, but, um, but they, you know, that's how it, it goes and it grows. Of course, it, it doesn't take two and a half hours or however long the movie is. It takes years and years and years, but it can happen, okay? So why China play? It's a rock solid situation. You've got transformation. Like the beast did finally transform because of beauty's love. Then we have, um, this is the I got your back. So I got your back could sometimes to me represents parents, like the, the parent that piggybacks his child or 
it could be um it could be like the 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 larger person or the masculine or the stronger person saying I, I got you you know like just hang on like you're tired now like you've been through so much let me take the rest of the trip you know the this journey and I'm, I'm taking care of you it could also represent fun things like um, taking rides together sometimes when I look at this I think of a motorcycle ride you know something like that okay and then we've got um, a kitty cat so you could be connected to kitties and we've got the skull with the the key so another transformation sign key to transformation the flamingo is like um, a very unusual bird but they're balanced you know there's all kinds of quirky people out there like that compassion cards talking about all these like rude people that just say the crazy stuff off the top of their head just to judge and to be smart and and you know like what are you doing you know but this is one of this is a person that's not like that this is a person who who gets judged a lot maybe because they're so unusual looking or so unusual behaving but despite all their unusual qualities they're about one of the most balanced and uh you know well you know healthy people that you might find so i feel like this is a very well balanced person who just this kind of looks a little unusual that just has sort of a you know it's kind of eccentric thing about them and then you got the heart that's pierced I mean I think this is a good sign it's like Cupid's arrow you have the key to everything to open doors to open hearts you've got this one um, is 2019 so maybe this is the year that you met your person or at least you know like maybe not eye to eye face to face but somehow you came across this person and now like you're finally gonna get that physical connection you know or you're gonna finally get that next phase that you've been wanting so badly I think that's that is coming up very soon for you Oh, you got French fries. <laughs> That's never come out. Like, wow, each, you know, indulge in some French fries. Spirit saying, my treat, you know, enjoy your French fries. Okay. And then we've got St. Anthony, which is the patron saint of lost things and also lovers. And it's the Italian St. Valentine's, uh, pers you know, saint. <laughs> It's like a St. Valentine's, but it's the Italian version. And then we have San Juan again. San Juan, um, Puerto Rico. Hello, Puerto Rico. My answer, I have some family in Puerto Rico. And we've got the honeybees. So, okay. Out of everything that's come out, this one is definitely saying you can make a home together. You have honey and he, together, like... Have you ever heard the expression, you can catch... Okay, what is the expression? <laughs> Have you ever heard that expression that I don't know how... I remember how it goes. Um, you catch more flies with honey. Is that how it goes? Anyway, baby, basic baby. Hey, baby. Basically, um, be sweet. You know, be the honey in this situation. How hard can that be? You know, be compassionate, be sweet. See how that works for you. <laughs> See how the changes come about when you just start to produce honey to to and to have a different point of view of all of this you know just never know like I think you do probably know where your person has come from but do you know like really the extent do you know the depth of of what they went through if you knew would you even would you question one out one for one second a bad attitude from them you know so just let it go let go all the the things that hurt you about this process so far because it can be difficult and know that this is a self-love journey and every time that you refocus on yourself after um having a you know going through a painful phase you're growing you're growing and growing and growing and growing and growing and you can thank your person for that and your person's growing too and eventually i think i feel that this is moving into a good direction there's just the next i just see pretty much the next thing the future right now is just more love and compassion and more understanding between you guys okay all right well i hope you like that thumbs up if you like that big hugs to my subscribers and if you're not a subscriber please subscribe and push that bell for notifications 
and you know help the algorithm and push all the buttons you know like you can push the join button too you can push push uh the like and push the share and share with friends and whatever you want like just you know um view this a thousand times watch all my commercials i know commercials are really annoying if click off them if you don't like it but i appreciate you clicking the commercial and watching the the video because that's how i make my money you know that's how i how i one of the ways i support the channel and the other way i support the channel is through things that you can see in the description box like some of the cards that i make that i i put a lot of work and effort into making these decks so that i can use them for, and share them with you so you can enjoy them and also buy a lot of decks so that you you can enjoy them as well so i hope you guys appreciate the effort appreciate the message please um keep following me for more of these messages and, and help me to grow and spread this message to more people because i feel like we're a community that needs we need to grow together we need to find each other we need to help each other and and lift these blocks and lift these banishments because i feel sometimes there's a lot of that energy out there we not we need to knock down these walls and these blocks you know so let's let's be in on this together to open up this message and to heal each other to heal the planet to come into union to be with our with our counterparts with those that are made to be with us you know all right let's keep doing that <laughs> so before i go though um like i said there's a lot of bus buttons to push one of them is the join button if you push that you can see that there's a bunch of tiers and with each tier comes perks and um like emojis and little uh buttons and all kind of stuff that you can use when you go when we go live together and uh yeah it's I, I have to make sure to call these out so much because they're so cute all the little buttons and emojis but anyway the 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 tiers start with platinum pixie and every tier gets a special free reading at a different length so the platinum pixies are kelsey and lupe and cheryl and claudia Ritz and Spirit Fairy, V Monaco, Curly Girl, Gabriella G, Your Uplifting Mind, Luisa Silva, Claudia Coxis, Anastasia Motina, Leo Sunchild, Sunny King, Niwa, Liz, Chrissy, Brandy, Sleepy Cat, Yvain, Hippie Love, Jessica Johnson, Mona Surian, Patricia, Mystic Mountain Dance, Jade and Maya, and Brian. And my patrons are Melanie, my girl Melanie, Chinese Surian. Brian and Emma and I know I got a new uh I got a new sparkle of light I think let me check oh yeah two two more sparkles of light AA and Valeska Garcia thank you so much for joining the channel um joining and becoming um picking a tier but sparkles of light is a great tier to start with it's just $1.99 a month and it just really really boosts the channel because you know um <laughs> it's not easy when you're dependent on you know the commercials to and and it's only a few cents here and there so really really appreciate all your help in that department thank you guys so much and i hope you enjoyed this faith trust to pixie dust